I have a fucking story to tell the internet, and this is gonna be one of those stories that I'm gonna regret putting it on social media, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Last night, at around 11.30, I decided that I'm gonna go to the gym today after six months of not going, and I have a membership to this very expensive gym here in Toronto. You may ask why I have the membership if it's that expensive and I haven't gone in six months. Well, I kind of was not allowed to go to the gym or work out for a couple months and in August I thought I'd be fine by January. I got the membership for January so I haven't been paying the past six months. I just paid for the month of January. I'm filming this on my phone on selfie mode and I might be looking over here because I'm a fucking narcissist and I want to see how I look and I truly am not very presentable. So I'm just gonna check to see how bad my presentation of myself is. But to get back to this fucking story, I have to wake up today at 5.30 because I live an hour and a half away from my university and I had an 8 a.m. class. So I pop a melatonin in and I sleep and I wake up at 5.30, get my stuff together. And remember, I booked a gym class and this very expensive gym unfortunately has this policy that if you cancel anything after 24 hours left to class so like basically you can cancel for free before 24 hours to the class that you have booked but then after that they're gonna charge you 15 dollars and i paid a lot of money for this month of this membership and i was not fucking willing to pay 15 dollars more to just cancel the class so i fucking put my you know workout set and my bag and proceed to go to school and I hated every second of that morning class. After 12, I headed to the gym and all of the classes were on, I should have been on wait list, except this one that was at 2.30, so I had like two and a half hours to kill. So I just got a coffee and bagel. Terrible idea. Terrible, terrible idea what leads to this fucking story. I drive an hour and a half away like a maniac with my car. I don't take the fucking subway. I fucking drive to the place that the gym membership is and I park my car and I have this sudden urge to poop. I need to poop really bad and I'm like, okay, it's fine. I'll just get upstairs, go to the gym, you know, tell them that I have a class booked. I just need to go to the washroom like in an emergency and then I'll be back to, you know, check in for my fucking class. I get on the fucking elevator, I press lobby, I have to get to the lobby, go outside, te take two escalators to get to the gym. I go to the lobby and there is no lobby. There are two do doors, one of them says dining, the other one says gym. Like for sure one of them has to have a washroom. Open the first door, it's locked. I open the second door, it's locked. And I'm like, fuck me. I see on the fucking wall, there's a sign that there is a washroom on the 39th floor. And I'm like, I did, I did not think there were 39 levels to this fucking building. I'm in the residential side of the building, which is under construction. No one currently lives there. I go to the 39th floor. I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to fucking poop in my pants. This is like way worse than I could possibly imagine. I have never had to poop this bad in my entire life. I'm on the 29th, 30th floor in this fucking slow ass elevator. I I'm holding it in, using every single bit of my power to fucking hold it in. It's not being held. I get to the 39th floor, I jump out of the fucking elevator, go to the washroom, praying it's open. I open the washroom door, I am so fucking ready to poop every single ounce of that bagel and coffee out. The washroom is under construction. The sink is kind of crooked. There is no toilet paper and the ground is full of mud. For a second I was about to step out of the washroom but I, it, it, it was now or never. It was now or poop in your pants and I was not willing to poop in my pants at this age. Close the door. I'm trying to lock it. There's no lock. I put the toilet seat down. Thankfully that was fucking clean. I pee and I poop and I feel like, I can fly, I'm on top of the world. I'm a fucking superhero at this point. I can't do anything. Except for the fact to wipe my fucking asshole. I put my 
big girl pants on, I put my pants on, I walk out, and I call my mother. I walk out and I call my mother and I tell her that my underwear is completely full of shit. <laughs> I'm lost in this building. I'm at the top floor and the top floor is apparently like this rooftop terrace place for the residents at the building that are supposedly supposed to live there in like a couple years. I feel disgusting. Not only is my underwear shitty, I put all of my belongings, my coat, my bag, everything on that muddy ground. I get out and I register to my class. I change into the workout set that I took with me that morning. I go get another coffee. Like, I have not learned my fucking lesson. I go sit in the cafe of this fucking gym and I'm scrolling on TikTok, sipping my coffee. And suddenly I'm like, huh. A lot of time has passed. It was 2.29 p.m. My class started at 2.30 p.m. And if you're late, even by a minute, they won't let you in. So I'm sprinting. I sprint to the fucking locker room. Literally yank my boots off. Almost hit someone in the fucking face. Put all my belongings in the locker and run to that yoga class. I have barely enough gas to get home and the highway is on traffic mode because it's 5 p.m and it's rush hour you might believe in god you might believe in a buddha you might believe in fucking karma my god at that moment was my car and it's fuel i was praying to my car i was kissing the wheel and i have just enough gas to get home i miss my fucking exit but here's the thing, I don't have enough gas. This is survivor mode. Do not have the privilege to have heating in this car. Because I hadn't worked out in so long, my lymph, whatever, the water retention, I had to pee. I almost considered pulling aside on the side on the highway and just peeing in the fucking bushes. But I kind of figured that would be illegal. I proceed to go on my way home and I'm like, do I go home? pee and then go to the gas station or is my car not going to turn on if I turn it off so I go to the gas station and for the pee droplets not to drop out of my body I'm dancing like a fucking monkey in this gas station while putting gas in my car like I just got in my car with a full gas tank and I drove home and when I got to my floor and opened my door, my dog was so excited. I almost kicked him and I was like, I love you. I miss you. If I don't pee, I'm going to pee on you. By the way, I threw that underwear out. There's like no hope in washing it. Uh, that's the story of me pooping in my pants. Okay, bye.